So um, now we can see how to validate a form pin, right? Um, so I am submitting a you know user data from this form. Okay, it is coming to a controller. So how I can validate whether all the fields are entered, the email is having the format, so all those validations. How I can do handle it, right? On top of uh, you know uh, the regular validation, there may be some other validation like. The ID is not, uh, you know, uh, maybe I need to validate the business related validation, right? This is a fog related validation, and there might be a business related validation. Like, I need to you know, go and get the data for this ID in the database and see whether the ID is active or suspended. So, based on that, I you know I'm validating the ID and returning back to the form where, like, this ID is not valid, this is a good ID. So all so those are business validations, right? So let's see how I am going to handle this form-based validation and the business validation. Okay, what are the different things we need to do? So um, here, okay, I am having a user bean. Okay, so in the insert bean, I am using, I am going to do the validation using the annotations like not null at email at so these are default annotations given by the spring container okay so you can make use of these annotations okay like not at null means the value should be there okay at email means it need to be followed the email standard okay password at size means like it minimum and max so spring container is already giving us all those implementations okay we just need to include them as part using these annotations okay um and we can validate each and every field using these annotations okay so now we have you know we have implemented okay that the logic how to validate our form beans okay so now in the controller we need to tell okay validate my user bean right so how to do that like whether you need to call or it's a configuration right so Spring container again giving us a configuration called okay at valid okay so when you say at valid okay what container we are you are telling to container okay before doing anything go and validate my form bin okay only if it is good you proceed with whatever inside this method otherwise return back okay so so what will happen when a request comes okay to this login method and you are telling that to validate this form right so it will go to that bean it validate everything if it is a, everything is good okay then uh, you are fine okay if if any of these validation fails okay so the, those errors will be available in the result okay in the binding result okay so that is the purpose of the binding result okay so the binding result will be having any errors if um, there is any in the validation okay so if there is a error in the binding result okay then it will go back to the J say JSP and in the JSP you are using the form error stack right so in this error stack if there is any error for this particular in, in this bean for the email if there is any error added as part of the binding result it will print it okay so that is the purpose of binding result. This will bind the result from the validation, okay, and send back to the form bin. Okay. Uh, let me uh, say it again. So the request comes. We are telling them to validate. It validates and it found an issue with the email, okay. So it will add to the uh, binding result, okay. It create an error object actually, okay, and add that error object to the binding result, okay. So since there is an error in the binding result, it will redirect back to the form to the JSP. In the JSP, we are printing that error. So this is how the validation works. So this is how the form bean validations work. Okay. Now let's see how the custom validation, the business validation works, right? So um so I'm submitting a user. I need to see whether that user is valid or not. Okay and then i need to, if it is good i'm fine if it is not good then i need to redirect back to the uh, error page or you know, same page right so how to do that okay so spring is providing us another <coughs> interface called validator okay so when you implement this validator you need to say what is the form bean okay 
you are going to so here i am right written as a person but yeah you, it's supposed to be user okay it's a, just a sample code so so you need to say my user class is a you need to support a user class okay so you need to do all you can do all the validations in the validate method okay you can go to database you need to go to database retrieve data update the data okay and if it is not there then you need to add to the error on it okay which the form value is actually doing input but here you are doing it we are we need to do we need to add if, if we are finding any discrepancies in the validations okay we need to add the data to this error object okay so here i'm finding the age is too old adding that error into my error object okay so now we have a validator we can write all the business related validations inside this validator okay so how to make use of that in my controller okay so what i'm telling when i start a container container i'm asking my container to inject this validator object to this reference okay so when i am here i am executing the validate method okay so validator dot validate will execute my custom validations okay and i get a result okay so the result is nothing but which if which is having the success or failure right uh, only the failures right if there is any error that will be a part of a result right so here i can write a logic to tell if you know there is a data in the result okay go back to this method and print the errors right if there is no data then do the other things right so that is how we need to do the um, custom uh, validations in uh, spring mvc web hope you got it, right so there are two ways one is form validation using art valid and another one is a custom validation using the validator interface